Leading off the left fielder number five, On Sunday, after being postponed twice due to bad weather, the Nine Alvernia Crusaders took on the Knights of Newman Sam University Hanks. in a non-conference doubleheader. Third. With the game scoreless heading into the third, Crystal Perlman's two-run homer would give the Knights a 2-0 lead. <laughs> heading into the bottom of the same inning, Miranda Pito drove in Alvernia's first run of the game to cut the lead to one. Highlighted by Dina Chiapelli's RBI single, Alvernia's bats came to life in the fourth as they brought in three runners to take the lead four to two. In the fifth, Rhiannon Sorrentino's double extended the Crusaders' lead. Alvernia would tackle on one more run in the fifth, giving them a four-run cushion. The cushion wouldn't last long as Newman gave Alvernia a scare by scoring two runs in the sixth cutting the lead back to two. Deanna Dungy stepped up in the seventh and ended the game herself by striking out Lacey Perry, giving Alvernia the 6-4 victory. Jumping ahead to the bottom of the fourth inning in game two, Samantha Penk put the Crusaders ahead with this RBI single. Danielle Kitchen would also offer an RBI single, and Lisa Seidler added two more runs, extending the Laverne's lead to four. Alvernia's pitcher, Michelle Jensen, put on a strong performance, allowing only two hits in the game. She finished the day with four strikeouts. Rhiannon Sorrentino brought in two more runners with a triple in the bottom of the sixth, giving Alvernia a 6-0 lead. Michelle Jensen ended the game with a ground out to Samantha Pank. The final score, Alvernia 7, Newman 0. The Crusaders are back in action March 29th as they host Wesley College. First game begins at 3.